Now, for a little more on the rescue efforts, we now go to Kim ji who is on the line for us from South Korea's foreign ministry. ji what's the latest? Well, Devin, South Korea's foreign ministry has made an announcement on the boat disaster just under two hours ago, some six hours after its first briefing on the situation. First of all, it says Foreign Minister Kang Yong-hwa will be heading to Budapest today. Once she arrives there, Kang will head the Central Relief Headquarters there to watch over the search and rescue operations, contact the families of the boat passengers, as well as set up an inter-agent agency government response team to deal with the situation. The ministry has already sent a response team comprised of Foreign Ministry officials and officials from the National Emergency Management Agency and says it'll soon dispatch another team of officials to Budapest too soon. It says it'll, it's making all efforts to get local support from hospitals nearby the site, as well as consular support from Hungary for the prompt and effective search and rescue operations of the South Korean nationals. The ministry has sent its condolences to the victims and their families, especially since the bad weather conditions are hampering the search and rescue operations there, and that there are so far no confirm additional survivors other than the seven initially announced. It says it has yet to identify these survivors, the victims, or the 19 missing people. Since they were not being, being able to re identify them, it, it has yet to confirm their nationality. The ministry says it again confirmed that a total of 35 people were ab aboard the boat. Among them, 33 South Korean nationals, mostly tourists, were on the boat. The other two were crew members. As you can see, the figures are slightly different from that released by the travel agency. The ministry has confirmed through a Hungarian diplomatic office that the passengers were not wearing life vests. We'll find out more about the root of the incident and why they were not instructed to wear the vests. On the cause of the incident, the foreign ministry confirmed once again the boat departed at 8 p.m. local time there. And the incident happened an hour after when the boat was heading back. The boat crashed into a cruise ship that was heading for Slovakia, and this is cited as the main cause of the incident. Currently, the cruise ship in question is being held by Hungarian authorities for investigation. Among the seven survivors up until now, the ministry says none of the survivors are currently in critical condition. Among the seven, all South Korean national Three people have already been released from hospital care. Another patient is to be discharged later today, but says it'll keep up with their conditions if they change. Back to you, Devin. All right, Kim Ji-an reporting from the Foreign Ministry. We'll be checking back in with them as the evening progresses and the facts come out. Our hearts go out to the victims and their families, of course.